Welcome to BadDragonProductions.com. Lesson number seven, designing your first website template. We made our little buttons. And we've got our header in here. We've got our left and right margins, our main body area, and our footer. We're going to put a little box in the header to put a title now. So if we're going to be in our header, we're going to put it right here. Okay. So let's make a little space here between the container, the menu bar, and we have to put it right between these two div tags. So we're going to take this div tag and slide it down a little bit, label it, header, div, close. Okay. So all of our information for this box is going to go in here. We have to make the box though, so we have to go to the style sheet. I'm going to go up to the header, bring up our curly bracket a couple, and we're going to make another class with the dot. Remember the class with the dot? We're going to make a box or a title. So we'll say dot. T-I-T-L-E, title, opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket, and we're going to give it a border of one pixel, solid, and this one we will make black. We'll make this one black. Okay. And then we're going to make it, oh, let's give it 50 in height, maybe. 50 pixels tall. And we'll go with, like, kind of wide, because it might, depending on how big your title might be or whatever. So we'll give it a width of, let's say, 500 and see what that looks like. Okay. So we go to the index. It's not going to be there because we have to we have to put it in our header now. So we're going to go div class equals and then there's our title. Close the bracket. Close the div tag. This is closing the box, the title box, div tag now fresh and there's our box now we have to position it so we can either put a top and a left margin on it and push it down and over or we can absolutely position it to so be absolute and then however many down and however many over um, let's give it a position of absolute Top is going to be, I don't know, let's see what, let's see what uh, 30 looks like. Or let's say 300. Top 30, right, 300. Save. No, we need to come down and over some more. Let's say top 50. And we'll push it over 500. Because the page itself is 900, right? Oops. Save. Go to live. Oops, wrong way. My bad. Because we pushed it from the right. I'm sorry, that was my... We don't push it from the left to make it go right. It's 100 pixels from the right. From the right side. So we'll actually move it over a little more. 
So from the right, it's going to be probably closer to maybe 40 pixels. There we go. And I don't know, I could tweak this, you know, all day long. Maybe just a little bit more down and a little bit more right. So let's say 60 down and 30 right. That looks a little better, I suppose. And now you can type in it, whatever you want. Your, here's your title box. And then you type in my website template. Refresh. Now we have to tweak where this goes. See, it's all the way to the top and all the way to the left. Everything's going to position to the top left of whatever it's put within. So now we go to our title box and we change the font to whatever we want. Say font, family, and I'll show you here in a minute. We'll say Verdana just because it's the first one in the list. You can change, I don't want to stray here, but we can change everything in the whole page with one command or we can change things in every little box. So if you want to change something in the menu bar, you'd put text family there or font family there. If you wanted to change the menu links, you'd put font family there. If you wanted to change something in the left margin, you'd put font family there, etc. I highly recommend you do not put a different font in every section of your web page. It's just too busy. It's kind of a, a designer's um, pet peeve. You know, it's like, oh, look, I've got all these fonts. Let's use them all. No, 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 that's, that's, not, that's not right. So what you would do is you just say body right way up here at the top. And it's no div class. It's just, it's just the body of the page. So you'd write body, colon. And then you'd say, you still got a curly bracket, curly brace. You go body, and then we'll say font family. Um, let's, let's go with, well, let's go with the Verdana again, just because it's right there. So we click save. And now everything in the body. There. Now let's try it there and it changed everything in the whole body you just put your body font size the font family let's say size oops, font size of 12 and there we go now everything has changed to that. The only re these things are still 16. Your buttons are still 16 because we designated in the menu links that those fonts would be 16. And if we had changed the thing in the title box, header, title, this is Verdana, we could change this to something different. Um, let's say let's say times in this one and let's give this one a bigger font a way bigger font of, let's say I don't know let's go with like 24 there you go now we'd have to rechange these move these around because when we changed the font to the whole body it shifted these buttons so I think for the sake of time, I'm actually going to just take that font family back out. So it shifts everything back to, to where it was. And we'll go with that. But that's how you change fonts, font sizes, individually or for the entire body of of your uh, sheet but again when you change a font for a whole page it might mess up buttons so then you'd have to go back and realign all your buttons or change the fonts or whatever now if we want this font in here within the title box to be different we have to go back to our style sheet and we go to our header I'm sorry go to your title within the header 
and then we'll say text align center and now bump it into the center and then we could pad it if you put now remember padding is inside so if we want this to push down into the center we're gonna have to put some top padding on it and we know that it's 50 pixels high so let's give it a padding of padding top of uh, 15 should push it down sufficiently so it's kind of centered and we could even go with a little bigger of a font if you wanted to go from 24 to let's say 36 that's better and I'm I'm really kind of I get stuck in my ADD every now and then where <laughs> I could sit here and tweak this thing one pixel at a time all afternoon just to make sure it was exactly where I wanted it. But we get the point. Our buttons are working. We got our margins. Let's turn um, the borders to black on everything and tweak the borders up a little bit. And then we should pretty much be done. Menu bar, we'll say black. Left margin doesn't have a color. Right margin doesn't have, oh, they are black. The main body will go to black. And the footer will go to black. Save, and then we'll turn the container one right off. We'll just take the border off. Now I'm going to leave the container on, but I'm going to turn that to black too. I usually have a line around the page because if you're going to drop a shadow on the page, then it's usually it, it'll it'll look better with that line if you shadow the whole page. And I've got another lesson on blue shadows. I don't have the video for it finished, um, but that one's going to have it's going to be a full lesson on shadows and how to shadow your page. So there we go. Our page is done. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your uh, patience. Be sure to check out my other videos, baddragonproductions.com. I'm trying to get those all in HD and all in one piece so you're not interrupted by breaks or commercials or blurriness or any of that. You get to keep all the templates that are there. I supply you with the artwork that we put our templates together and comment free code so you can just cut and paste it and use it in other projects. And once again, I thank you. We'll see you all soon. See ya.